What's going on, you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here, and welcome back to... Wow, I was about to say Animal Crossings. <laughs> See, that's how much I've been playing this game that I actually have it inside my head to say Animal Crossings instead of Resident Evil. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Remake. Not Animal Crossings. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I've been addicted to Animal Crossings. It's become... Ooh, wait, what's this? What is that? Wait a second. What is that? A G18 handgun burst model. A 33 shot 9mm handgun with a 3 round burst feature. Me likey. So yeah, Animal Crossings. I become addi addicted to that game. I can't wait to be able to make my house full of just all the awesomeness that it's supposed to be. Um, with Animal Crossings, it's very easy. <laughs> to get lost in that game honestly because I started off the game and I was like oh my god you know this is gonna be great it's gonna be an entire island just filled with you know different things and then they asked me to name my island and I, I named the island hipster <laughs> I don't think we're surprised by this at all at all not one little bit Wait, where am I supposed to go? Okay, I'm talking about Animal Crossing, so I should be focusing on here. Oh, okay, here we go. Hello. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Where are we going? Where are we? Someone needs to clean that, please. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want the exit. I want to be... Wait, hold on a second. Then what was that door over there? Wait. We're supposed to go to the underground area, correct? So why is this area a thing? Oh! Wait, did I just go back where I can- I'm like a puppy, I have such a low memory count, my god. Oh, it went in a circle, that's what it was- <laughs> We have a lift. We have a lift. Oh, we have a lift. Yeah, we have a lift. Oh, okay. Nobody come attacking me because I'm very fragile right now. I just got dealt a dose of the nemesis virus, so nobody touch me. Now people can touch me. No, no, no. Consent, okay? <laughs> Consent is a thing. Step four, no. Okay, let's go. Ooh, Umbrella Corporation. Die fiend. Because they're stupid. They're stupid. They're a bunch of el stupido. What? Oh, we're going up. Okay, <laughs> we're going up on Tuesday. How is it that you know exactly what to do, Jill? Mm -hmm. A little conspiracy theory going on there, Jill. How do you know what to do here, Jill? How do you know? How do you know what to do? How do you know what to do, huh? How is it that you know exactly what lovers to push, what lovers to press? Actually. I'm the one who's controlling you, so I should be the one asking you, how do I know what to do over here? Conspiracy theories, hashtag. To all employees, we've identified the issue with the electrical box where the concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads and it causes the fuses to blow. Actually, hold on. I need my glasses. I can't read that from here. There we go. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm, gather fuses from the sub-generators situated around the warehouse, and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. So just gather power from everything else, and that'll be fine. Just gather all the power. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting area. Okay, I see what they're doing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Hi guys, what's up? How you doing? Are you guys doing okay? Oh! Okay. Restore the power to the elevator. But I'm afraid our games end here. You think this is over? What? Exactly. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Oh my god, are you the naked ones? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. 
These were the naked zombies that we experienced in the first game. Ew, they got the smoke coming out of them. Got a naked zombie on our tail, holy moly. Okay, so where are these fuses exactly that we are supposed to collect? There's a room over there. There's somebody over there. That looks like there's somebody over there. It looks like there's somebody over there. Okay, we have one fuse. Um, hold on. And that, no, come back here. Thank you. That one and that one, perfect. Can you crawl underneath? She can't squeeze through? She's tiny, she can do it, I know she can. Ah, oh, there we go. Nothing come at me, please. This is a perfect time for something to come at me. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. It's weird the way the dogs just disappeared like that. Like, they just ran away. They, they were just like, oh, <laughs> oops, we did it again. <laughs> these two things look pretty cool, actually. I like these. They took a different approach to the naked zombos that were, um... What was it that were in the first game? Oh, you're back up? Okay, hi. Bye. What's that? Uh, employee memo. Lots of employee memos. I like how they're scattered about, you know? You always love a good employee memo. It's just like, oh, I think I'm gonna write this down. Just leave it here for somebody. Oh, it's full. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Yeah, I can't get past there, so we have to go back upstairs. Alright, so we need one more fuse. One more fuse. And what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to save the game. Because I don't know what's going to happen. Actually, wait. Am I supposed to go over here? Because this is where this was lowered. So technically, I'm supposed to go up here. I don't know. We'll try it. I don't ever remember this part being in the game, honestly. Um, it, it's more of a Resident Evil 6-esque-ness to it, I think. Um... Which, it's fun. I mean, they're utilizing the mechanics from Resident Evil 6 very seamlessly within um, these few parts of the games. But, um, yeah. It's interesting to see how they're making all these parts from different games into uh, this game itself. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be exactly. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this because... I am tired of your shenanigans. Ah, there are things over near me. Go away. What? There are more of those things? Oh my god. Can you not go away from me? Go away, go away, go away. Yeah, it's the last fuse. I knew people were going to have an issue with this. Oh, God, Billy. Oh, I don't have any healing items? Oh, shaky. Yes, thank you. Restore power to the other. Back over. Oh, 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 herb. Okay, hold on a second. Red herb. I'm guessing it was back over. Yes, over here. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Okay. That's use. And use and use. Perfect. All right. Pursue Nikolai. Now, the thing is, is that they're also utilizing mechanics from the seventh game into this one as well with the fuses. Because if you guys remember, there were fuses in the seventh one that we needed to take care of. Shit. He got away. Oh, so that's the guy who was in this room was Nikolai. Okay. Hold on. By the way, see, see, everything is loaded up. Everything is loaded up. So none of you can tell me in the comments that I didn't load my guns before I went in to kill the freaking zombies. Look, everything, all loaded, everything. Loaded, 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 locked, loaded, good. Glockenspiel. <laughs> you know we're getting into a more serious part of the game whenever all the lights go blue. When all the lights go blue, we're getting serious now. What's this? What's that? What is that? Joe. Tyrell. I got through. 
They're willing to negotiate. Ah. They'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. All right, cool. Oh, we're supposed to go through there with Tyrell. Okay, I got you. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Oh god, I don't have a good feeling about this though. I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have a good feeling. I can't run at all. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. Alright, let's get this done. Oh, I don't know why I don't have a good feeling about this. Oh god, okay, okay. Oh, she pretty though. I, the, the model who did the modeling for Joe Valentine, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh no! Time out! Again? Really? No! Keep going. Again? Oh no. No! No! Oh, lovely. Oh, shit. Look, oh, that thing could run. Does it still have the garbage basket on it? The garbage basket. The, the, the whole garbage can look. Trash bin. Whatever you want to call it. The nemesis is wearing a trash bin, okay? Seriously. The pursuer, okay? Seriously, whoever thought it would be a good look for the nemesis to wear a recycling bag is really off their knocker. Okay, we're gonna save this really quickly because I really am getting end of game vibes. This is crazy. Employee regulations. Attention nest to employees. The objectives of the T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real world cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of surpassing bioweapons. Some aspects of your work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to the workplace regulations without fail, in particular unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new revolutionary technologies. Oi. Okay, so we have the Nest 2. Sounds good. I just need a healing item, you guys. Like, I just, I desperately need a healing item. Give one to me. Now, honey. Yes! Oh my god, in the nick of time! Thank you so much! Oh my god, 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 I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm okay. Oh, I'm healed. We're good. I think they just had that kind of Oh, especially for me. I dodged you, you stupid. Thank you so much. Ooh. That was great. Okay. On the rules of antigens and antijuvens in the vaccine synthesis. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both antigen and antijuven are required to the antigen pro uh, produces an immune response. Excuse me. While the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses leading to the increased antibody production, by combining samples of these two ingredients, one create a potent vaccine base. By processing the vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger bag of vaccines can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and antijuvin samples yield unpre unprecedented events, excuse me, rates of antibody production, producing more than a thousand times the yield of traditional materials. Not only makes an effective vaccine, but a potential way to eliminate existing infections, which it's actually something that all antibiotics really do if you think about it, because they create a system in which that you can heal your system faster by producing the white blood cells and have them attacking the infection more with something like this with the reduced risk of infection comes a quicker heal time and everything so i mean this is going according to medicine which is pretty cool that they put that in you're not cute at all i don't like you are you guys gonna wake up what are you override key successfully generated what have we here override key removed 
Oh. Oh, okay, so I can probably get into the other rooms now, if that's the case. Oh, can I go downstairs? No, I can't. God darn it. Wait, can I use that? Yes, I can. Oh my gosh, that's great. Okay, cool. Cool beads, I like that. That's great. <laughs> Gra ah. Go away. And go away. Go. No. Oh my god, dude, get off of me. I thought you were dead. No, missed. Okay, didn't miss now. Oh my goodness gracious. Can you not do Yee. Go. Away. Go. Yeah, I know. Reloading is a bitch, I know. Okay, cool. I wanted to take care of those while they were there. That way if I had to go downstairs, I didn't want to risk getting dead. Er. Oh. 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 Is that the antigen or the antijuven? Culture sample. Oh, an antigen ah, sample. antigen. Okay. I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. Oh, Jesus, you woke up pretty fast, hi, buddy. What's up? Bye. What's this? Weaponry authorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admissions and dismissal of test subjects. Subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that the weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. Okay, so those are the same ones that were in the very first Resident Evil game back in 2003 remake. For this reason, I would like to request a high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads. It would be issued to all of our employees working in the shipping processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we'll be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration, shipping and processing manager Gabriel Reed. <laughs> <laughs> I always get so happy whenever I get new kinds of ammo. Are you gonna wake up? No, you're not. Okay, I just wasted a bull on you. Scientist's dying message. Actually, I should probably like put myself closer to the microphone with this. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That way, that way it creates a, a more like sinister vibe. What's happened? Our worst case scenario. The T-Virus has somehow leaked under orders from Dr. Bard on manufactured mass quantities of the vaccine. Repaired a culture of the T-Virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with the antijuven to enhance its effects. And should I be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens? Antijuven samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I'd better find a way to get some samples while the culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis project. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting this horrifying events in motion. I done did dead. Wait, what's that? Oh, gunpowder. Okay, um, I'm going to combine it with this gunpowder. Oh, 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 oh. Nobody come up behind me, I swear. Please, developers, you're not this- you're not this maniacal. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Nobody touch me. No, buddy, touch me. Oh! Oh! Is anybody behind me? No? Okay. Oh! Oh, these are the hunters! These are all the hunters. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is such a cool part of the game. I like this. I don't need that explosive. Wait, are those tyrants? Are okay, so, you guys. I was... Another theory that I had where there were multiple tyrants. This just proves we never got a clear definitive answer in every single game where if there were multiple tyrants or not. We just always guessed at the fact that there were. This confirms it. So, uh, Mr. T... Hello, Mr. T. How you doing? What's up? These are all hunters and tyrants. If they come after me and they break open, I am not going to be a very happy puppy. 
I'm not gonna be a very happy puppy. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, you're staying where you are. You're good. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. Whew. Yeah, you're dead. So what are you guys thinking of this game so far? I'm honestly really loving it a lot. I, I didn't think- ah, <laughs> I said, <laughs> Really? Did she just say out of the way? Really? 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 Gosh. You can't say out of the way to these guys. They don't know English shit. Thanks. Bye. Um... I'm, I'm really liking this game. Honestly, from all of the feedback that I, you know, got on how this game would be, honestly, I didn't think I was going to like it because of other people's opinions. Well, um, a lot of people were wrong <laughs> on the matter, and it's actually a really, really amazing game. I'm really liking it. I just want to see what the ending is because I'm scared of what the ending is going to be. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement on uh, in the field of bioweapons research, excuse me, introducing a parasitic organism into the tyrant's brain to gain external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from the medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of the shift away from established umbrella policy by turning to the use of parasites. You are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check, I believe, and an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think that they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no rigs, but in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions with the hubristic problem you've foistered. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll bard. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Well. It's called a nemesis. What's that? Oh. So we can combine them. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. So can I combine both of these? Yes, I can. All right. Vaccine base. So, what am I supposed to do now that I have the, the vaccine base? Um, I um, guess we gotta go back down to the other room that'll synthesize it and create an actual, like, useful- not, not that that can't be used as a vaccine, but you have to make it in a way, and this is done for all, ph all pharmaceuticals, or you have to get it down to a manageable substance that can be put into the human body. Don't come out, please. Please, I beg of you. Oh, I knew it! I freaking knew it! I knew it, 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 I knew it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Oh. Oh. Alright. Cool. Oh, no. What did I do? Oh. What was that? So do we go back out here? No, we don't go back out here. Okay. Oh, that's where we came in from. My bad, my bad. I'm not too sure where we have to go now because this was not in the original game, so I'm not entirely sure. Do we go be Yes, 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 we do. Okay. Place the materials in the chamber. So we have to get them to all match, I'm guessing? Interesting. Oh, okay, I, I did it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was pressing random little random things. Yes. I was just pressing random things and I didn't know I did it. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> Oh no. No. No 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 no. What are you doing? Not near your neck. What the heck are you doing? Again. <laughs> the nemesis got nothing better to do. 
Really? Escape the facility. Just very, 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 very clingy, very clingy, very clingy, very clingy, very clingy, very clingy. Very clingy. Come on, come on. There we go. Perfect. I'm guessing it's dead, or is there going to be a final boss fight? All right. That's absolutely, that is, okay. This is interesting. He's like, I'm back. I want you, I'm back. <laughs> I'm guessing it's boss fight time. No, 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 no. Oh, what do we have here? Nikolai, don't! Freaking the Nikolai. The city needs that vaccine! More than I do. I don't think the wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting through. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll record it all and sell the combat dog. Put on a good show and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. <laughs> Jesus, I can't stand the glut. <laughs> let's 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 hurry up, Nemi. I got I got some stuff to Jesus, why you start already? There better be health around here. So it does have stuff that it's putting around for us. That's really cool. Yes. Ah. <laughs> you thought you could come over to me. Oh. Jill, oh. You? oh, Carlos. Carlos. You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. <laughs> Shots at the switches on the tanks, the electricity will shock the nemesis if it gets close. <gasps> oh, yeah, this was never in the original game. <laughs> okay, now we switch them out. I want to see how this works. I mean, he got close to them. Watch it, you've got company. There we go. Oh, hmm. Gosh. Okay. All right, we gotta do this logically here, folks. We gotta do this here logically. There we go. Come on. He's still wearing the trash bag. He is still wearing the gosh darn trash bag. Come on, Carlos. Tell me where he's at. Where? Where? Where exactly do you want me to shoot him, Carlos? He's behind number two. Come on.
Come on, hurry up, hurry up, chill. Stop loading. There we go. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm still gonna die. There we go. Come on. It's okay. You're so cute. He's so cute. Oh, look at the little nemesis. Oh, freaking hell. God, I hate that. Mm, I hate that. Mm, I hate that. Mm, I hate that. Okay, we're so good. We're so good. We're so good. We're so good. What? 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 Oh, did I do it? Here comes a crane. You use it to climb up. What? How? Oh, she looks like a hot mess right now. That can't be the end. I only died twice though. I'm very happy with myself. I need to switch out because my battery is about to go bye-bye. See? You see, this is what happens whenever you rely on just one camp. Hold on a second. Ooh. Ew. Ew. <sighs> yep. Well, that never happens in the original game. <laughs> Hopefully the lighting isn't too, okay. too bad. That was it, though? Surprisingly not too terrible to beat. I only died twice, considering the Am fact. Where did you go? Nemesis down. I have to get that vaccine back. <laughs> Is there anything else? Is there something I possibly missed over here? Nothing, nothing, nothing? Okay. Okay, we're good. What do we have in here in our inventory? I mean, we're good. That looks like another area for a boss battle. I'm sorry, but that's very open, very wide. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not keen on those open wide spaces, Nikolai. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You print money. I like that. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun. You have got to be kidding me. Is that him again? <laughs> it's just a freaking pile of sludge! <laughs> oh, you're joking, right? You are absolutely joking. Have you have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. Right. That's not what the nemesis was in the original uh, game, just pointing that out. It is. It is about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Joe! Go after Nikolai! He's got the vaccine! What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Damn right you got this. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. <laughs> It really is, honestly. Alright, defeat the creature. The way they made the nemesis look is really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. They made it look really interesting. What is that? What is that? Oh, now she got equipped with what the nemesis got, probably. Final Fantasy VII style over here. Damn, it needs power. Interesting. All right, I like that. Come on! Oh no! 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 Oh wait, maybe those things. Okay. Oh, frick. He's, he's gonna punch me. He's gonna punch me. Get out of here. Oh, no.
Hi, my name is Ariel, and I can't stay alive worth more than five seconds. No, oh crap. Interesting. They made it look very majestic. It's the first boss fight I've ever seen where the creature actually looks like it's um, looks like it's majestic. Those. Okay. I can just get rid of that. Okay, so now that I know the process of which it's doing it, it's a lot easier to um, estimate how it's gonna go. Ah, no, come on, go, 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 go. <sighs> come on, go, chill. Come on, it's okay. You got this. You got this, girl. You got this. All power yes. Do you think I don't know how to fuck you up? <laughs> Come on. Why is there an unnecessary cursing? Seriously, I don't I don't understand it. There's so much unnecessary cursing. I don't get it. Good riddance. Oh, God, I, I love Jill Valentine, but hot damn. Nemesis down. Look at all the exclamation points. Where's... Where is it? Oh, freaking hell. Where to go? Where to go? Oh, wow, this looks like doom. <laughs> Interesting. This looks like the elevator... That was in Resident Evil 2, the one that, um, what was it? The one it, that Claire got away with. That's interesting. Okay, maybe it was in, because it is in the same timeline, basically. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it were. Do this, didn't I? No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And that is my cue. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Yes, Carlos! <laughs> Never thought I'd ever say that. Oh, you killed Carlos. I'm gonna piss all over your parade. Jill! Shoot him! I can't! I'll hit you! Do it! You have to! There's no other way! Take the shot! Carlos! Well, at least I managed to hit him and not hey. miss. I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. That would just be too cruel. <laughs> Wait a second, are you wearing a bulletproof vest? That's sly, mother fluffer. <laughs> what about him? Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! <laughs> Bye, guys! Good move, Joe. I don't mind a little detective work. <laughs> I wonder if she'll become a PT, uh, a private detective at all, within the series. 
I think that'll be something cool to add to Resident Evil 8 if they ever decide to do that. That'd be so cool. It'd be like, oh, in the future, Jill is a private detective working with, you know, people who used to work at Umbrella kind of thing. Jill, you all right? All right, let's. Oh gosh, this is a helicopter scene. Is it? I guess show Barry. Is Barry there? Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. So long to that apartment you paid for, too. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster making a virus. It was greed. Human greed. I decided then and there the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes, too. I would end them. Once and for all. Where's Barry? That's it? Oh. Okay. I I have a few problems with this ending. First of all, where's Barry? I I don't know what to say about that. That's a good ending, but not the one that was in the game. <laughs> It wasn't one of the ones that you can get because there were multiple endings, like I said, in the original game. That kind of irritates me that there was no Barry at the end of this game. Okay, so I have a lot of varying thoughts on this. Um, of course, all my thoughts are going to be in the article that is going to be coming out about this game. Um, yeah, I, we're, we're going to see the last scene that's in the game right now. I just wanted to pause it because I, I did not think that... I just need to pause really quickly because I, I didn't think that they wouldn't put Barry into the game. That's kind of a pivotal moment that really ties a lot of the stuff together from the very first game that came out. What? Oh, that was it? Oh wait, was that Jill Valentine just taking like that sample that was shot by Nikolai. That, okay, interesting. Game mode assisted clear time 6 hours 16 minutes and 42 seconds. Time saved 43. Deaths 10. I had 10 deaths in the game, which I am amazed by. So our rank is a C. Not too terrible, not too bad. Probably going to replay this game so I can get all of the points and everything like that. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Only died 10 times. Not too bad at all. <laughs> man, oh man, oh man. So that was Resident Evil 3 remake you guys uh, briefly I'm going to discuss my thoughts with you guys let me know what you guys think of this game down in the comment section below kind of upset that they didn't put in Barry Burton in the final part of the game because I remember that that was the ending that I got whenever I first played it and I was like oh my god it's Barry from the first game uh, I like a fangirl and everything um, it would be nice to see a remake of Barry to see how his character looks in current day I figured him like you know I, I, I don't know I just pictured him like all gray hair and everything like that and just be like long time no she do I absolutely love how they did the nemesis. I love how they made, like brought this into current day structure. Like the way, I mean, I'm not so much a fan of the way that they dressed him in a trash bag, but still. <laughs> the way that they created this character. I love the way that they designed him in a way that it was growing with the times to look more maniacal, to look scarier. I mean, you know, I don't think it was scary, but that's just me. You guys know I don't get scared by these kinds of games. Um, to look more intimidating to an extent because we all know that ne the nemesis character is an intimidating type character it's not something that's like oh yeah we're just gonna shoot you and laugh huh? but the way that they evolved the nemesis throughout the game i did not expect 
at all. When you have the character, the nemesis, you really have to think about, you know, what are you fighting against? Are you, you're basically fighting against a personified version of the greed that is the Umbrella Corporation. If you think about it, Nemesis is that personification of greed, of evil, of destruction and chaos. You know, of course, they take that and they make it into a more evolved concept where the greed grows, the destruction, the chaos, all of that grows, but it can be overcome by a sense of good. I love this kind of mental kind of philosophy that goes on at the very end of the game. Like I said, you know, the Nemesis is a representation of the Umbrella Corporation's greed and power and destruction. So to see that evolve over time in the game as Jill finds out more and more and more, that's why each achievement that you unlock is the Nemesis down. Is the Umbrella Corporation really down? So in a way, I like that they made the Nemesis this big overarching creature at the end, but in a way, I kind of have an issue with it because it doesn't go along with exactly how the game was. But then again, games grow with the times. You have to expect change. So in that respect, they made me really like the, the character Carlos. They really, really made me like all of the characters that were in there. They made them individualistic. What would I give this game? I would give this game a 9.5 out of 10. Honestly, I enjoyed it. I absolutely loved it. They put a lot of the things from the original game into this one. They put a lot of the concepts in there. They put a lot of Easter eggs. They told us to wash our damn hands. I loved how they incorporated the zombie dogs. I loved how they incorporated the hunters. I loved how they incorporated the pale heads, which was in the game uh, 2003 originally. I didn't think they were ever going to do anything with those types of zombies again, but they did, and I'm very happy they did. They incorporated a lot, and I really enjoyed it, and it's really sad that people that they don't like it because it really does incorporate a lot of things. I think people are just afraid of change. That's the main thing that I think of at the end of the day. I feel like all of the changes that were made to this game it enhanced it. It did not take away from it. The only thing that I did not like about the game is that they didn't add Barry Burton. That's the only thing I didn't like about the game. Other than that, I absolutely loved it. But yeah, that was me playing Resident Evil 3 Remake. If you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below because I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and double uploads on Friday. But stay casually nerd, you guys, and I will see you all in the next series, which is Hellblade Son of Sacrifice. Peace.